Well, seeing as this is going to be coming out on the 14th, that's right, we're doing this holiday in history, the Valentine's episode. Personally, I hate Valentine's Day. I'm with you, Ralph. I'm with you. Hey folks, welcome to this holiday in history, the Valentine's episode. Let's do it to it. Starting out with some Pope Scapades here. In 1014, Pope Benedict VIII crowned Henry II as Holy Roman Emperor. He was already king of Germany and Italy. Plus, fun fact, his dad was also Henry II, but he was only a duke. Monarchy math is fun. In 1076, Pope Gregory VII excommunicated Henry IV, who was Holy Roman Emperor and no relation to Henry II. Any of them. This was the first of three excommunications for Henry IV. In 1349, several hundred Jews were burned alive. Guess where? That's right, Germany. And those that weren't were forcibly removed from Strasbourg in the Strasbourg Massacre. Now, there were two reasons behind this. One, blaming Jews for the Black Death, and two, Germans just had a centuries-long thing about horrifically killing large numbers of Jews. I'm just glad they finally got that out of their system. And if you have a problem with me bringing attention to the fact that Germans have been wiping out large numbers of Jews long before Hitler was even a twinkle in his daddy's eye, well, I'm gonna have to say TS, and I ain't talking about tethered swimming. In 1530, Spanish conquistadors overthrew and executed Tonga Schwan II, ending the independence of the Tarascon. Before the Spanish arrived, Tarascon had been the second largest power in Mexico behind the Aztecs, and technically the Aztecs fell first, so for a short time, they were number one. In 1556, Akbar I, also known as Akbar the Great, was crowned emperor of the Mogul Empire. He ended up tripling the size of that empire and is rather important to the history of India, and he certainly earned his great nickname. In 1779, Captain James Cook was killed by native Hawaiians on the island of Hawaii. Imagine that. He was trying to kidnap their king, so yeah, I don't blame him. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell and Elijah Gray both applied for patents for the telephone. Gray's was put in first, but Bell won out due to legal dealings. In 1879, the War of the Pacific, also known as the Ten Cent War because one of the main reasons behind it was a ten cent tax, broke out between Chile and Bolivia. Peru ended up joining in on the Bolivian side, but the Chileans still won out. In 1929, seven people were murdered in Chicago as part of a gang hit supposedly organized by Al Capone known as the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Basically, the guys thought that they had been raided by cops because a few of the assailants wore police uniforms. When they were lined up against the wall, the policemen opened fire. And of course, it's Valentine's Day, a feast day to celebrate possibly two saints that were martyred on the 14th at some point in history. We did a whole video on it last year if you want to check that out. Oh, and it's also the feast day for Saints Cyril and Methodius who were Slavic brothers and Manchin, an early Irish missionary. So yeah, it's got that going for it too. And that's going to do it for this episode, but we'll see you back here next week. Same Squirrel time, same Squirrel channel. From all of us here to all of you out there, have a happy, happy, and healthy Valentine's Day. 